Hello, everybody. Welcome to another week of boot camp. My name is Chris Souza, fitness uh, officer from King Campus. Uh, welcome. Uh, happy Thursday. Uh, as always, um, we're going to start our class with a warm up. Before we begin, though, make sure you have some water with you. Make sure your space is clear so you're not tripping over anything. Um, make sure nothing's on the floor. Make sure you have enough room to move around. Any injuries, uh, you can let me know in the comments uh, or the chat, and I can show you some exercises to work around those injuries. Uh, but feel any pain, any lightheadedness, dizziness, shortness of breath, all very good indications that you need to take a break so you don't have to go through the prescribed work or rest um, intervals that I'm uh, asking you to do. Uh, we do want you to push yourself, but we also want you to be safe. Um, so we'll start. Uh, you're going to need jump rope. Um, for today, today's class, that's all you're going to need, just jump rope in your own body. We're going to start with a warm-up. Um, so what we're going to do is 30 seconds of jump rope, and we're going to follow that up with some body weight squats. Um, after that, we'll be doing push-ups to work our shoulders, triceps, and chest also to warm that up. And then um, we're going to be doing a mobility drill uh, after those uh, three exercises. Okay, so we'll start, begin with your jump rope, just to increase your heart rate. 30 seconds, nice and light, I'm just beginning. Just find your rhythm, medium pace. Again, we're just increasing the heart rate, creating blood flow, and warming up the joints. Nice and light, two pretty hops. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. We're going to go into six push ups from our knees. Again, we're not going full on into our workout. We're just preparing our body, making sure we're ready to begin our workout. So we're going to start with six reps, chest touches the floor, back up again. If six is too easy in this position, uh, you can go off your toes if it's too hard. You can do these against the wall. Four, five, last one, and six. Good. And then we're going to stand up. We're going to go into our bodyweight squats. We're going to make sure as we complete our 10 reps, we go lower and lower. So one, two, knees out, three, hips back, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. The mo mobility drill we're going to be doing is on the floor. You're going to start in a push-up position, off your toes, okay? What you're gonna do is walk your feet up, squeeze your toes into the ground, towards your palms, and then back down again. You do this four times, one. Nice, quick, short steps. Two, all the way down to the push-up position again. And back. Nice and slow, control your body. Last one. Keep back straight, as close to the palm as possible. Back down. Good. Onto our knees. Push the butt back. What we're going to go do is on all fours. And then we're going to push our feet down. Push your hips back. So you're stretching your shoulders. Try to bring your heels down to the ground, your knees straight. And then left leg. The left hand and back, push the hips back off your heels, right hand to right leg, hips back and push, push your head between your shoulders if you can. Left hand, left foot, back. We'll speed it, speed it up a bit, do four more, two on each side. Last two. We're gonna finish off with some Arm circles forward, nice and wide. And back, palms facing up, nice and wide. Try to come as far back as we're going forward. Good, so we're gonna begin our workout. We're gonna start off with our upper body. So we're gonna be doing, doing feet elevated pushups. 
You can either do these from your toes on an elevated surface, or an easier variation is from your knees. You just prop your knees up on that elevated surface. Just using my couch here, this makes it a bit easier. We're doing eight reps, okay? So from your knees or from your toes, okay, if that's still too easy, what you can do is put a backpack on with some weights in there and water bottles. We're gonna do eight reps for those. Then we're gonna move into single leg split squats. Eight reps on each leg, 16 reps total. And then we're gonna do 30 seconds of jump rope. Uh, in between each exercise, we have 10 seconds. In between each round, we're doing uh, two rounds. In between each round, we're gonna be uh, resting for 30 seconds, okay? So we begin, eight reps, push-ups. Body stays nice and straight. Three, two, one, and go. Chest touches the floor, back up if you want. Two, four range of motion, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, and eight, good. 15 seconds, we'll get into our split squats, get into position, right leg up first, and then we'll switch, we'll do eight and eight. Three, two, one, and go all the way down. One, two, three, four, five, six, two more, seven, nice and low, push that knee forward, and eight, switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. If those are too hard, what you can do is just regular bodyweight squats, 16 reps. Arms up in front, down in the squat position, come back up. We're gonna do 30 seconds of jump rope. If you don't have jump rope, no problem. I'm gonna start that in 10 more seconds. You can just mimic the same movement with your arms. Nice and light jumps on the balls of your feet, pushing off your toes. We're going for 30 seconds. Seconds, pick up the pace a little bit. Nice quick hops. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. We're gonna rest 30 seconds now before our next, our next uh, set, our, our next round there. And again, going back to the push ups. Elevate surface, you can go from your knees or you can go from your toes up to you. Pick your variation. From there, we're gonna move into the split squats. The split squats are too tough or you're having a hard time balancing. You can do 16 total uh, body weight squats, okay? We'll start in 15 seconds. So you can get into your position for some water. Good time to grab it now. Start in 10 seconds. Lock your position in, nice straight back. Leg straight, five, four, three, Two and go. Chest down, arms full extended. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Into our squats, 15 seconds of break. Start with your right leg. If you're doing um, single leg squat, or sorry, double leg squats, then you're gonna do 16 reps total. Knees, go to eight on each leg. Three, Two, one, and down. Oh, good. Nice and low. Release parallel here, your thigh. One that's bending should be parallel. Three, four, five, six, two more. Seven, last one, and eight. Switch feet. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, two more, seven, last one, and eight. 15 seconds, we'll get into our jump rope. Let's go a bit quicker with this round. So more jumps per 30 seconds. If you did 45, 50 jumps, you should be increasing that by at least 10 to 15 jumps, okay? 
three, two, one, and begin. Nice and late. Close your feet. Again, increase that pace. Halfway there, 30 more, 50 more seconds. Keep going. Keep going. A bit quicker now. Last 10 seconds, push it a little bit quicker. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, keep going. 2, and 1. Good job. Rest for 30 seconds. I'm going to demo our next two movements and cardio station. Okay. First movement is going to be a bear crawl. I'm going to go on all fours here. Toes, palms into the ground, backs nice and flat. You're going to reach over with opposite arm, opposite leg. Come forward, stay nice and low. Control the body and back. Okay. I'm going to do six reps of those. Every time you take a step, that's one rep. Okay. Then from there, we're going to do a, a basically it's a slow motion burpee. So, what we're going to do is come down into a push up, come up into a squat. Okay. One rep. Stand up into a squat. We're going to do six of those. Okay. So, six and six. Cardio station. It's going to be jump rope again. This time, we're going to do single leg hops. So, you can either do Jumps with one foot and then switch. Okay, you can do you can switch at your own pace. Do five and five if you want. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Five reps right, right foot, five reps, reps left foot, back and forth. Okay. 30 seconds. We're gonna start in 10 seconds with our bear crawl. Six reps of each of those movements, 15 seconds in between each exercise, okay. So six reps, down on the ground, three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, good. We're gonna start into our, 10 more seconds, we're gonna start into our burpees, slow motion burpees or breakdown burpees, whatever you'd like to call them. So down into a push up. one, stand up, into a squat, two, down to a push up, Stand up into squat three, down to a push up, stand up into a squat four, down to a push up, standing up into a squat five, the last one, down to a push up, stand up into a squat, last one. Good. Nice work from there. 15 seconds. Again, right foot, left foot. You can change, you can do 10. Uh, reps on each foot if you want. You can do five, it's up to you, but we're going to do this for 30 seconds. Start with five, four, three, two, and go. I'm going to do every five. If it's too hard to do off one foot, you can use two feet. We just do a straight jump rope for 30 seconds. There, 15 more seconds. Take the pace up a little bit. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. We'll rest 30 seconds before our next round. If you have water nearby, good time to grab a drink of water real quick. We're gonna do uh, one more round of this. Again, with the bear crawls, nice and slow. Body stays nice and low and rigid. Don't try, try to move around a little bit, uh, as, as uh, least amount as possible. Okay, we'll begin in 10 seconds. We're gonna do a bear crawls. 
six reps, so you can do three reps forward, three reps back, or if you end up spacing the walls, uh, six reps at the back. Well, onto your toes, onto your hands. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. 15 seconds, we'll get into our burpee breakdowns or slow motion burpees. They look uh, simple, but they're not easy to do. That, that, that takes a lot of body control. Um, it's almost easier to do it quicker. This way, the reps are a bit harder to do because you're doing them um, more controlled. Three, two, one, and go. One, stand up into a squat. Good. Two, stand up into a squat. Stand up into a squat. Three, three more reps. Four, five, last one, push up, stand up, into a nice little squat, and six, good. I grab our jump rope again. Thirty seconds, a bit quicker this time. Do the same amount of time, but more hops are getting. More density, more work in the same amount of time frame. Five seconds. Three, two, and go. So it should be visibly, you should hear the rope going quicker than last time. More reps for 30 seconds. Halfway there, 15 more seconds. Five seconds. Three, keep going right to the end. Two, and one. Good job. Good job. I'm gonna give you a 30 second break and we're gonna do some core work here. You're going to need a pillow, similar to last week's if you were here last week. Ground carpet, you don't need the pillow. We're going to do an extended um, plank hold here, plank uh, up and down. Uh, so we're going to do six reps, come down and up. That's one rep, okay? Try not to let the body sway back and forth. Don't let the hips uh, come down. Rock your position in, squeezing your glutes and your quads and everything in your upper body as well. Shoulders relaxed, down and up. Okay, that's one rep, we're gonna do six of those. You wanna make sure, like I said, you're pushing out against your abs. Stabilizing your body so there's not a lot of movement within your hips. Shoulders should be relaxed, okay? Um, six reps of these, every time we come down and up, that's one rep. We're gonna do two rounds. We'll begin in three, two, one, and go. Down, nice, slow, and controlled, and up. Here's one rep. Down, two reps. Down, three reps. Down, four reps. Down, five reps. Last one. Down, nice, slow, and controlled, and six. Good. I'm gonna take that pillow if you didn't have one. Put it behind you, just underneath your butt. We're gonna do flutter kicks. Legs are gonna be extended, toes pointing towards you, heels away from you. We're gonna alternate, lifting our legs, fluttering our legs back and forth. Your feet come off the ground the whole time. We're gonna do this for 15 seconds. Let me just grab my timer. Okay, so what it looks like is feet off the ground, toes pointing towards you, engage your core the whole time. So we're going to for 15 seconds, okay? Three, two, one, and go. Toes towards you, heels out, legs straight. Keep the feet off the ground. You put your hands out to the side or under your butt. But make sure your legs are fully extended. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Good. And back to our planks. 10 seconds rest. This is uh, one more round of this. Both movements, 
six reps, 15 seconds on the butter kicks. Three, two, one, and go. Down and up. One. Again, try not let the body move around too much. Two, three, four, five. Nice and straight in the lower back. Last one, six. Good. We're going to end it here with 30 seconds, or sorry, 20 seconds of butter kick, kicks. We're going to start you in five seconds. Legs extended, heels away from you, toes pointing towards you. Three, two, one, and go. A bit higher this time. Nice and controlled. Don't just let your feet fall. Bring them down nice and slow. Point those heels away from you, toes towards you. Legs straight so your knees are locked out. Keep going. Okay, for the last 10 seconds, just feet straight and up, down, and up. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Good. Awesome work. Awesome work. Great work today. We're going to do a cool down. Um, as we're going through a cool down, just want to remind you guys that we have the uh, Terry Fox Run, virtual Terry Fox Run coming up this uh, Sunday. Make sure you check out our uh, Instagram page and check out our uh, website to get all the details on that. Um, how to register, uh, but it's a great cause. Obviously, uh, we do it. It's a, tra a tradition that we do every year. So we're, we did it last year virtually as well. So until we can meet again, we're going to be doing it virtually. Doesn't mean you can't get outside and do the runs with friends in a safe manner. But uh, it's a great cause and a great way to commemorate a great person. So check the information on our website and register, and uh, hopefully you can get that get that done on Sunday. Uh, we're going to start with our Legs crossed, take your right leg out, left leg in. You can put your foot to the side of your leg there. Try to keep your leg close to the floor here. Reach your right hand to your right foot. Point the toes towards you, heels away from you. And hold that. And we're just gonna concentrate on our breathing. Make sure we bring your heart rate down. Switch sides, same thing on the other side. So big belly full of breath. Try not to breathe through the shoulders, which is what we usually do. We're not conscious about your breathing. I want to make sure drawing in all the oxygen into our bellies, like standing our stomachs. Three, two, one, and good. Bring your legs in front without bending your back. Just try to touch your toes. If you can't touch your toes, just come as far as you can. Shoulders relaxed. So this should feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings there again. Toes towards you, heels away from you, legs straight. Three, two, one, good. We're gonna go onto all fours here on our hands and our knees. Right hand goes underneath, rotate your torso, shoulder into the ground. We're gonna hold that nice big stretch in our lower backs, our obliques, and our shoulders. Three, two, one. Same thing on the opposite side, take your left hand. Spread it through there. Five, four, three, two, one. 10 seconds now on each side. Take the, the stretch a bit further. Right hand right through. You can drop down to your shoulder if you want to put your head on the ground. Concentrate on at least five deep breaths. One, and exhale. Two, and exhale. Three, in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And one more into the nose and exhale through the mouth. Good, same thing on the opposite side. Take your left hand, put it through that little hole there. You can turn your torso, big belly full of air into the nose, out the mouth. We're gonna do five of these, so four more into the nose. Two. In the nose, out the mouth, two more in the nose, and out the mouth, and last one in the nose, and out the mouth. Good. We're going to stand up here. We're going to do some more uh, shoulder rotations this time. 
We're bringing your shoulders up almost like a shrug and back. One, two, don't forget to breathe as we're doing these. Three, four, up all the way around. Five, six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, last one, and 10. Now going in the opposite, opposite direction. We're gonna do the same thing, try to go as far back as you're coming forward. One, two, three, four, up, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10, good. So what we're gonna do here is just some mobility for our necks, okay? I'm gonna put our, um, make sure we're, going, we're putting our necks through a different range of motion than the one that we're in all day looking at our computer screens. What we're gonna do is look over our right shoulder, nice and slow, fluid. Look over our left shoulder, over the right shoulder, over the left shoulder, good. Over the right shoulder, over the left, keep going. Two more on each side. Two, last one on each side. Two, good. We're just gonna look straight down our toes, tuck the chin in. If you feel any pain, it's a good indication to stop the stretch, okay? Chin tucked in. Now look at the sky or the ceiling. And then down below to your toes. Nice and slow and fluid, relax the shoulders. Back up again. Back down. Back up to the ceiling. Down below to your toes. One more up to the ceiling. One more down towards your toes. Good. Awesome. Awesome work today. Hope you guys enjoyed that class. Again, uh, check out all the other classes that we're offering uh, right now as well. Um, we have yoga twice a week. We have um, a weight training for women or strength training for women. Um, that's led by uh, one of our fitness officers, Kim. We have um, our functional training class as well. That's done through Mike. And like I said, I think we have yoga twice a week now and we have a bar as well. So check those out. You can go on our website, uh, senecasting.ca, click on recreation. And then from there, you can see a list of our fitness classes. Uh, it has all the times and dates uh, listed there as well. And we're hoping that we can um, see you guys in person sometime very soon. Uh, we'll give you guys an update on our website and through our social media. Um, when we're, we're given the green light to open, we want everyone back in our facilities. But in the meantime, um, take advantage of all the online programming. Check again, check out the website. We do some stuff on Instagram as well. So not, not everything's on Zoom, um, but we have different classes, different programs. Again, Sunday, check out uh, uh, the Terry Fox on the Sunday. Make sure you get out, walk, run, rollerblade, wheel, um, whatever um, whatever you want to use. Uh, whether that, like I said, spikes, rollerblades, just make sure you get out. It's supposed to be a great weekend. So get active and we'll see you next week and uh, have a great weekend, everybody. Take care.